To me, it is a message about good news, no matter where an individual might be in their struggle of life. It is a message that in spite of whatever you might be dealing with, that things are going to get better and that you are not alone. My name is Robert Robinson, and I am a gospel singer. I've been singing since I was a child, since I was about five or six years old. I started out pretty much singing with my brothers and sisters, and later on, after my father became a pastor, um, I started directing the choir at my father's church. Then later on, kind of branched out and started working with other groups and choirs that were outside of my dad's church. So I've been doing this a long time. Swing low. Sweet chariot Coming for to carry me home Swing love Sweet chariot Coming for to carry me home. Improvisation helps to take the song a little bit further than what may be able to be done with just the chorus alone. In most gospel songs, the choir lays a foundation of the constant message of what the song is trying to say. The soloist, through you know whatever verses and improv, basically takes the message of that song a little closer, a little deeper to the individual. Improvisation, in, in many respects, it can be just your own personal insights on what the song means to you and just taking it and musically making it interesting. Um, you can scat around it, you can, you know, hit high notes or low notes. There's all sorts of ways you can interpret it. Oh, oh yes, you may have, oh, oh, this world. Jesus. 
because I work with a lot of choirs that are, have various levels of musical ability, I don't really come at them saying you need to sound like Aretha or you need to sound like Whitney or uh, none of that kind of stuff because then you're just totally throwing them to the wolves because nobody can sound like Aretha but Aretha. So what I want them to do though is find themselves to hear the message of the song and to find themselves in that message. And then from that point, begin to share out of your ability, wherever it may be, in such a way that somebody could believe what you're talking about. The Twin Cities Community Gospel Choir gathers people from all over the Twin Cities area. Um, it's a group that I started actually about 21 years ago. And they are a group of wonderful people that have just embraced uh, gospel music, inspirational singing, and they kind of carried my heart and passion of taking it anywhere and everywhere the door would be opened. And so I applaud them, love them, and, and so much appreciate them. I don't know where my path is going to take me. I, I wish I could tell you in five years I'll be here and in 10 years I'll be here. But I do know that it is my desire that whatever path I'm on, that I will be an effective instrument, still able to use my talent and my abilities to touch the lives of people. No matter who they are, I just want to be somebody that can be used to make a positive impact. So I'm honored to be able to do what I do and, and do it here in the Twin Cities, which has just become a great mecca of, of great music and musicians. I, I feel very, very blessed to, to be a part of what's happening here. Minnesota Original is made possible by the State Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and the citizens of Minnesota.